Hey, what's up everybody? Nexel here. Today we're playing Kingdom Hearts Union Cross and we're going to be talking about the Supernova Plus deal that just dropped today in Global. Now, I know this video is kind of late. There's only four hours left in the deal, but they've dropped this banner so many times in the past. All they do is just update the metal pool. So the advice I'm going to give you in this video is going to be applicable to future Supernova Plus deals. Now, first things first, I don't have a webcam right now. Save for a long story, I just physically don't have one. It'll be back up in a few weeks, so no worries on that one. That's why the video looks kind of different than what it normally looks like. But let's go ahead and talk about the deal. Now, this is a pretty standard deal that they've dropped several times in the past that's lasted one day only. You spend 3,000 jewels to get 10 medals, and all 10 of those medals are going to be Supernova Plus, if not Supernova Plus Plus, which sounds really, really good. You can buy this deal three times, so three total pulls for 9,000 jewels, and then you get 30 Supernova Plus, if not Supernova Plus Plus medals. So that's kind of a strange place to be. 3,000 jewels for 10 Supernova Plus, if not higher, is really good because it's really you're only spending 3,000, I'm sorry, 300 jewels every single medal. And that's at the borderline of, yeah, that's totally worth it. But on the opposite end, there could be times where you end up saying, yeah, that was totally not worth it. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the pros, the cons, some things to consider, and then ultimately what I think about this banner and if you should pull. So first things first, one good thing to note about this banner is because it's only Supernova Plus, if not Supernova Plus Plus, that means all the medals in this banner are tier 8 or higher. And that's good for a lot of different reasons. So the first reason being, if you are lacking on sub slots, let's just say you go to your Keyblade setup and you take a look at your sub slots and you're missing like quite a few tier 8s, quite a few tier 10s, you can just get some in this banner. So if all of the medals you get from the pull are tier 8, that's still a plus 0.25 boost in multiplier and that's pretty substantial. If all of them are tier 10, you're getting actually a plus 0.35 boost in multiplier. And remember, the multiplier for a Keyblade is one of the best resources in this game because even as metals get outdated, that multiplier still maintains value. So having good sub slots is really gonna benefit you in terms of how you play your game. Another good thing about all the metals being tier eight, if not higher, is that if you, let's just say you have a fully decked out Keyblade, the sub slots are all tier nine, tier 10. If you get any tier eight, you can sell them for draw points. Theoretically, if you got all tier 10s from this banner and you didn't need any of them for some really strange reason, you could just sell all of them again and then pull from the draw points banner. Selling 10 tier 10s, which is not really an advisable thing to do, but it's just all theoretical. If you sold 10 tier 10s, you can pull for an additional one and potentially get something else that you want. So it's really good to know what the tiers of the medals in the banner are because that's good for sub slots and it's good for draw points. Another good thing about this banner is that you can still trade them later. So let's say, for example, you pull from this banner and you're a VIP player. Remember that once every month, there's a trade sale in the Moogle shop where this price drops down from 1,000 jewels per trait to 500 jewels per trait. So let's just say, for example, you pull a key art 24 and you only spent 3,000 jewels, you got in the first pull, so that's 3,000 jewels there, then on the trade sale, this drops down to 500, then you spend 500 for ground, 500 for aerial, 500 for extra attack, which is the core for all staples to have those three traits, and effectively, you got a boosted key R24 for 4,500 jewels that has pretty much all the traits that you need, and that's a really good deal. Remember that when key R24 first dropped, it was a 10 pull mercy, and then you still had to buy traits, so it was almost like 32,000 jewels. Well, now you could potentially get it for 4,500, which is just really good. Again, you can trade these metals later. So let's say you get them now, and then in the Moogle shop, again, you check the items. Sometimes they drop a trade pack where you could spend uh, 1,000 jewels in order to get 10 trades. They could drop that for metals in this banner. So even if they're tradeless now, you could potentially trade them later with a VIP trade pack. Remember that they are in the works of doing a money for trades, as in not M-O-N-E-Y, but M-U-N-N-Y. So you could potentially be spending in-game currency, which effectively has no use right now. Like, there's really not much you're doing with it, aside from leveling up metals and such like that. But it's generally really easy to get money in this game, like M-U-N-N-Y money. So... I don't know how that program is going to roll out. I don't know what to expect from it. But if they do drop it, it could be very substantial because there's a lot of people who have 999 million money. I actually don't even know where to uh, where to find that particular value here anymore because we just don't use it that often. Here we go. Here's my money value. 999,999,999. 999 
even if they make every single trait worth like 10 million money, I could still get a good deal out of that. So remember, you might not have any traits on these medals now, but you could potentially get them in the future. Now, another good pro about this banner is that a lot of the medals that you get in here can just act as generic buffers. So even if they're traitless, let's just say again, you get key R24, the special attack still gives plus 8,000 magic metal strength and the supernova attack still gives plus 12,000 magic metal strength. So remember one of the big pluses about Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie is that her special attack and her supernova attack give just generic metal strength. So for 3,000 jewels, let's say you get KR24, that's a metal that you spend 3,000 jewels on that gives you plus 20,000 magic strength. And that's before any sort of copy metals. So you can still get good value even if it's traitless. Um, remember that some of the best PvP metals are in this. Actually, pretty much the best PvP medals of all time can be found in this banner. So for example, Kingdom Hearts 3 Elsa with her magic reflection is still really relevant. You also have a chance at the Supernova Renew medals, which is still really relevant. You can get, for example, I'm pretty sure, yeah, Tifa's in here. You can get Dark Riku in here. You can get the Berserker. You can get Kingdom Hearts 3 Vanitas. So you can get a lot of the best PvP medals in this banner. And even if they have no traits, it doesn't really matter. The most relevant trait in PvP for a lot of the defense breaking metals is gonna be that extra attack. So ground is not as important, strength is not as important. Yes, it's nice to have them, but the fact that you can use a PvP metal without any sort of traits, all you really have to do is slap an attack boost max on there, that's still really good value. So let's just say you get like two Kingdom Hearts 3 Vanitas's. Sure, they're not traitless, but yes, you can absolutely still use them in PvP. Another good pro about this banner is that it comes with a lot of good utility medals. So for example, I can't find her in here right now, but Kingdom Hearts 3 Nomine is in here. All of the Renova medals, so Terra, Aqua, Ventus, and Xion are in here. There are tier 10 copy medals in here, so Kingdom Hearts 3 Ansem the Wise, as well as the Kingdom Hearts 3 Reaper. You can get Yuffie in this banner, which is still the best defensive medal in the game. So those are a lot of the good things about this banner. Again, the sub slots are good, the tiers are good, you can trade them later best pvp medals are in here some of them can just act as good generic buffers and there's a lot of good utility in the medals that you can get from here now there are a few cons here with one of the big ones being you can still get tier eights and tier eight minus being sub slots or draw points fodder are effectively useless like there's really no case where i find myself using supernova plus sephiroth or kingdom hearts 3 starlight maybe i use it if i have like some restriction where the the special attack has to do like 10 or more hits or something like that but there's really no general use for tier 8 so if you get them it's going to be sub slots or you sell them for draw points and it, let's just say in a really bad case you end up with 10 tier 8 that's also 3,000 jewels gone Remember, those 3,000 jewels could go to something useful, like Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie, or it can go to whatever the banner is going to be for JP Anniversary. So, kind of a strange thing where, uh, where you could potentially be spending jewels for nothing, and that's definitely where you don't want to be. Another bad thing about this banner, and this is the huge glaring problem when it comes to these Supernova Plus deals, no matter whenever they released them, there's no immediately accessible way to get traits that isn't spending a crazy ton of jewels. So let's just say you get three Kingdom Hearts 3 Ansem the Wises, or you get three Kingdom Hearts 3 Vanitas's. You're going to want to put traits on some of those. So even if you're VIP, you're spending a thousand jewels per pop. Or if you're free to play, and you never do this if you're free to play or non-pay to play, you never buy these. Never. It's never worth the investment. I would say at least 99 percent of the time you should not do this it's, there's very rare scenarios where you should but you really shouldn't be because that's 5,000 jewels that is five trade packs which would get you 50 traits and remember on average I say it takes about 20 to 30 traits so buying this is never really a good investment unless it's some super game breaking metal where you know that this trade so for example like extra attack is gonna win you something unless you know for sure this is a sink of jewels and it's not worth it so that's one really bad thing about this supernova plus deal is that it just never comes with traits and i've never really liked that because you could end up with awesome metals but remember traits are the difference between a metal being a or b class bringing it up to s class remember i would rather take a tier 9 with perfect traits as a staple rather than a tier 10 with no traits on it because that ground enemy defense that aerial enemy defense that extra attack that could mean the entire difference between a metal being useful and useless now one more con about this banner that i kind of don't like 
is that the draw odds are never distributed evenly. So as you can see here, if we look for the best tier 10s, so for example, like the Renova medals or the copy medals or the Final Fantasy VII Remake medals, the draw odds for that are inherently lower than some of the other stuff. So for example, Elsa has pretty much a little bit less than twice the chance of you getting a Supernova Renew medal. And I think that's kind of weird. I really would have appreciated if it was all about the same odds because when people think of that this banner, they're probably just like, okay, all of the medals have the same odds, but they don't. So the chances of you getting a Supernova Plus Plus Kingdom Hearts 3 Terra are not the same odds as you getting a Supernova Plus HD Aqua. So remember, the chances of you getting something good are inherently lower than the chances of you getting something bad. Now, there are a few things to consider, with the biggest one being that with these medals, you can always do the math. Now, I've kind of prepped the equation here and an explanation. Go ahead, analyze it. If you're good at statistics, definitely check my math and make sure that everything checks out. But for example, I prepped an example in order to make it a little bit easier on the eyes here. So for example, if let's just say we wanted to pull and the only medals we care about getting are Decidia Sephiroth, Elsa, and then the three PSM supernova renew medals so all you have to do is take this equation again let me show you the equation so you take the equation plug and chug the numbers in these numbers represent the draw odds of each single one so for example getting a kingdom hearts decidia sephiroth is a 0.84 percent chance getting a elsa is a 0.84 percent chance each one of the supernova renew medals is a 0.46 chance so you just add that all up and the odds of me getting one of these medals in my poll is going to be 26.77 chance. So about a quarter's chance in order for me to get one of these medals that I want. Now remember that this percentage, this 26.77 goes up based on the medals that you're looking for. So the chances of someone hitting a medal they want is pretty high. But again, that medal is going to come without traits and you're going to have to find some way to make it particularly useful beyond being some sort of buffer or some sort of special mechanic like Elsa's super or I'm sorry, Elsa's 100% magic metal reflection. So remember, you can always do the math. Let me go ahead and show you that equation one more time in case you want to screenshot it, you want to pause the video here and do the math yourself and kind of see what your odds are, but you can always do the math, check what your odds are, and then decide if you want to pull. So for example, if my odds of getting what I want is like 90% in one pull, yeah, that might be worth 3,000 jewels, but if it's like 10%, maybe not so much. So just remember, you can always do the math. I'm a big fan of doing the math because then you know what your odds are before you hop in there. But ultimately, what I think about this banner is that there's very little strategy that needs to go into it. Odds are if you want it, you want it. And if you don't, that's totally fine. My big piece of advice for this is that remember that JP anniversary is less than a month away. And I recommend having no less than 17,000 or 18,000 jewels. So really, if you pull from this banner, it's really a YOLO banner. It's really, ha ha ha, I pulled because I wanted to. Maybe I got something awesome. Maybe I didn't because if you pulled something awesome, great. You spent 3,000 jewels and got something you wanted. If you get nothing good, then it's like, okay, well, at least I only spent 3,000 jewels. So this banner is kind of this weird place where you just kind of YOLO the pull. You just kind of do it for fun and whatever you get, it's what you get and it's not really a big deal. So let's go ahead and do one pull and see what we can get. So really, I'm doing this pull. I don't really need to do this pull, but I wanna, you know what, let's just let's just risk it for the biscuit. Let's see if we can get like Kiara 24, San Francisco Sora. Uh, let's see if we can get a Supernova Plus Plus Kingdom Hearts 3 Terra, because we've never gotten one before. So you just kind of YOLO this pull. Again, there's not a lot of strategy that goes into it, but I gave you pretty much the best advice I could in regarding this banner, at least as much as I could think. So if we can get a Supernova, the Re Renova Terra, that would be super awesome. But let's see if we can hit any tier 10s. Wow, this was Supernova Renew galore, but literally not the one that I'm looking for. <laughs> um, okay, well, let's uh, let's double check our haul here. Okay, so this is the screenshot of our poll, and quite frankly, in my opinion, I personally think this poll was absolutely busted. For the sole reason that we've got a Supernova Renew Ventus, a Supernova Renew Aqua, a Supernova Renew Xion, 
and we also got Kingdom Hearts 3 Aerith, which is still a really good buffer. So this is what I mean, where you kind of YOLO the banner. Sometimes you get things that are good without traits. So for example, all three of these Supernova Renews are good without traits. The Kingdom Hearts 3 Aerith is good without traits, but the Era, the Envy, and the rest of the stuff, not really good without traits. So this is where I say, again, it's kind of like a YOLO banner, where sometimes you get what you're looking for, sometimes you don't, but you only spend 3,000 jewels either way. So this is going to be subslot material for me. I'm going to be using the Ventus and the Aqua for PvP, going to put Defense Boost 6 Max on them, things like that. So just remember with the Supernova Plus deal, you're taking a chance, and you might get something useful, you might not, the odds could be in your favor, or you could be getting all tier 8, which is totally not cool. But that is my analysis on the Supernova Plus deal. Again, you might not catch it for this particular banner, but the principles stay the same for pretty much any Supernova Plus deal that's ever been released. But with that being said, that's the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below, and I'd be happy to answer when I have the time. If you'd like to join my Discord, let me go ahead and pop up the link. It is right down there. Just type that into your URL, and you should be good to go. But that's all for now. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, until next time, take it easy.